Hey guys, it's Sky from My Magazine, and in this week's video, I'm going to be talking about the Gabby Petito story. So recently, Lifetime have announced that they are going to be producing a movie based on the events that took place last year with regards to Gabby Petito and her fiance Brian Laundrie. So for those that didn't know, last August um, 2021, basically Gabby and her fiance Brian were meant to be going on a trip, a four month trip as part of the Van Life project starting in early July. And unfortunately, by the end of August, Gabby had been reported missing. It later turns out it was her fiance that took her life and not long after, he then took his own. So with that in mind, Lifetime have been getting a lot of stick for making this film. Um, apparently it's like exploiting the family and the family have not consented to any of this. It is going to be called the Gabby Petito story and it is going to be part of the Stop Violence Against Women campaign which Lifetime do. However, the family have released a statement, um, in particular their mum, um, Gabby's mum has released a statement saying that the movie has no connection to them and they have not been um, approached for it and they've given no consent. And it's going to be exploring, the film's going to be exploring the relationship between the couple and the events that took place or may have taken place over the course of those few months. Um, like I said, it's more um, based on assumptions rather than facts. And I think that's why it's getting everyone annoyed. Um, it's going to be produced this summer. It's going to be filming in Utah. And then later on in the year, it's going to be premiering. Um, but it seems to be that many people are mainly annoyed about the exploitation. People have said that everyone involved is gross, they want to start a petition, and they're just finding it really sad that they want to make money off a tragedy. But what do you think? Do you think it's exploiting the Petito family? Please let me know. Or you can find us on Instagram at aman underscore mag or on Twitter at aman magazine one.